everyone, it's David coming to you today from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. It's like 12 degrees out there today. So what better way to fritter the day away and do a video. And I've got my Saurian Brandy bottle here. Well, you know, George Dickel 1964 powder keg bottle. And you know, it's weird. I owe this video to the original Star Trek series because of this bottle. I think that if this bottle wasn't used as a prop back on the TV series Star Trek, I probably would not have tried George Dickel Tennessee Whiskey. It actually did prompt me to buy the, you know, the these two bottles, the 8 recipe and the 12 recipe. <laughs> now, you want to hear a funny story about what we're reviewing today. Um, a few months ago down in Kentucky, I bought a bottle of the Bottled in Bond, the number three release from 2021. And uh, I was like, man, you know, I really want to try it. Really want to try it, but I want to get a spare bottle. For So I had an extra. Um, <laughs> here's the funny part, everyone. So a few days ago, I asked my friend Dave, who works down in Columbus, if he wouldn't mind going to a liquor store and picking me up a second bottle. <laughs> so he bought me this bottle, and I did pay him for it. This is the number two release from last year. So um, it's funny. I am going to do a review on this number three. Um, number two... Carry on, number two, number one. Um, this second bottled in bond release, I will be putting on my shelf. That's why you're going to see two of the bottled in bonds on my shelf when I'm not standing in the way. There you go. It's right there. Let me try this one. Right there. <clears throat> um, I happen to really enjoy George Dickel. The Superior 12 to me is... Ace in the hole, tops, I love it. Smooth, I can't imagine that being better. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. The number 12 recipe is 90 proof. The number eight recipe, the black label is 80 proof. And as mentioned, this one is bottled and bond at 100 proof. Age statement, 13 years on that. That's going to be some mellow stuff. The mash bill is 84% corn, 8% rye, 8% malted barley. <clears throat> and uh, street price is about $45 here in Ohio, which is MSRP. Might be higher in your area where the state does not reg regulate your pricing on whiskey and spirits. <clears throat> so let's get, I do have a little bit of a stuffy nose today. Um oh this is a special you know what it's a special occasion. So we're gonna pull out one of the special occasion glasses on that and check it out. It is paining me to to do this. But I figure at some point. If I like it, I'll get another bottle of it somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Unlike some other bottles, this one was really easy to get this little seal off. Uh, I'll just put it down here. Um, you know, on the I I joined recently the Central Ohio Bourbon Enthusiast Facebook page. Can, oh my gosh, I can smell. Okay, my nose don't work that great as it is. And it is a little stuffy. But I did check to make sure I could smell stuff before I started the video. But the smell from the bottle is... 
I'm getting it. I'm getting it from, oh my gosh. As I was saying, people either love it or they hate it. Um, buzzwords I hear is excuse me, like Flintstone vitamin, cherry syrup, caramel, mineral. I feel like I'm playing the like $20,000, $25,000 pyramid. Mineral, vitamin, Flintstones, George Dickel, Tennessee whiskey. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, but those are the buzzwords and I really enjoy it. I don't, I don't really get those flavors typically. To me, it's just a nice, smooth, sicky, smooth Tennessee whiskey. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it does smell really sweet. I get, <laughs> I get the cherry. And that's weird because I don't usually get those smells. Um, this, this, I wish, here, I wish you could smell that. Can you smell that? Take a little smell of that. There you go. I really like that. Nice. Oh, that is like a copper, dark, you know, those oxidized dark copper pennies from like 1953. Oh my gosh, that is a nice, nice, oh, color. The smell oh, is amazing. Man, the taste. Oh. <laughs> oh, let that sit for a moment. I mean, wow. $45. Dang, that's good. Man. Oh, wow. I can't describe, I can't really adequately describe that. Mm. It's so sweet. Oh, man. I think I described the Superior 12 this way, but you have caramel syrup mixed with bourbon. But there's such a sweetness up front. You get an oakiness on the middle of the tongue. Um, dang. Wow. And then a nice, nice burn on the throat, but not, it's, it's like, it, Oh my gosh. Put it bluntly, I love this stuff. This is, oh my God, for $45. You know, and they usually put it down second from the bottom shelf, along with the other uh, George Dickles. But that is, oh, that is amazing. Mm. It's silky smooth. It's... It's got a depth of flavor. It has a sweetness, almost a bordering on sickly sweet, like um, a mellow caramel, like high sugar caramel. It's very sugary on the front of my tongue. Then you get that oakiness then you get the alcohol burn with some spice on the back, but not too much. It's not obnoxious. Oh, it's so good. 
It's so good. It's amazing. And it rings the bell. That's the bell ringer right there. Kind of, you know, it's like that, um, in a way, like the old Granddad 114, not as um, heavy of a flavor as that. It's got a light depth of flavor. I can't really describe it any more than that. Um, you know, this this is this is so good. One more. Mmm. Caramel maple is the best way I can describe it. Um, mature. I mean, that is really good. I'm not, you know, I try doing this scoring thing for this year, but I, I'm ditching that. Um, I love this. The George Dickel uh, whiskeys, I really enjoy anyway. And this just takes it to a whole nother level. You're going to either love this. If you enjoy George Dickel, you will love this. If you don't like like the Superior 12 recipe, um, if this isn't your cup of tea, don't buy it. It's everything the Superior 12 is, but it's so much more. More intense flavor, more... Uh, it's more smooth. It's to me. This is this was number three on my list for 2021 um, Again, this kicks it up a whole five notches um, If you again, if you don't like this Don't get this um, Save it for me um, I would love to get another bottle of it and then on another another uh, episode i'm going to try the 11 year number two release as well but this is really amazing stuff for me um so that's it i can ramble on but i won't um so until next time it's david coming to you from my whiskey den here in central ohio i hope your next pour is your best pour and if you enjoy this you will love this if you love this, you will have a form a romantic relationship with this one. All right. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.